there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the color of an image gallery navigation arrow in Squarespace 7. Now this code works for Squarespace 7 sites like Brine or Bedford themes, but if you're using the newest version of 7.1, I have a different tutorial for you, link is in the description below. But using Squarespace 7, what we're going to do today is change the color of the arrows on both the left and right hand side, the color of the background of those arrows, and then we're going to isolate just the left and just the right. Now all of these things are done using a little bit of custom CSS magic. So the codes I'm using today are also listed in the description beneath the video, but make sure you check out this whole tutorial so you understand how to use them on your own site, okay? So let's go ahead and hop into my demo site and take a look at how this works. So here we are in my demo site, and you'll see here on this page, I have an image gallery that's just shifting through to the next images here, all of them of a pineapple I have lovingly named Gus. This is the gallery we're gonna be working with today, and we're gonna change the color of these arrows on the side. So all of this is done with custom CSS. So I need to navigate to design, and then scroll all the way down to custom CSS. This is where we'll be placing the codes that are beneath the video. Now the first thing we have to do is identify what we're trying to change. We're trying to change the gallery arrows, so we have to call them out by name by saying SQS dash gallery dash controls. The first one is previous, so I'm going to hit the period and add previous. I have to say it like that or I'll spell it incorrectly. Then we're going to add a comma and we're going to repeat ourselves and say, all right, SQS gallery controls dot next. And now we can open up a bracket and say background color and I'm just gonna write out the color red so it's really easy to see what we're changing. So check it out. The background color has changed to red. Now that's great, but we haven't adjusted the color of those arrows. That's because those arrows are actually using this thing that is known as a pseudo class. Now it sounds super fancy, but stick with me. We've got the code names for it. What we need to do is taking those same names that we used before, we're gonna say SQS gallery controls previous and SQS gallery controls next we need to add a, a colon symbol and the word before, okay? Stick with me here. We're gonna add the words before, then we're gonna open up a bracket and we're gonna say color, uh, let's just make it blue so it's easy to stand out. Now check it out, they've changed to that dark blue. So again, to identify the background, we have to say SQS gallery controls previous or SQS gallery controls next. And then to identify the arrow itself, we have to add the text before. That's the only way that we can change the color of those arrows themselves. So let's say you don't want the red background, you just want that transparent, so all we see are the arrows. I'm gonna change the word red to transparent. And there we go, they've now disappeared. Now we're just getting the arrows on the left and on the right hand side. So I also mentioned in the beginning of the video, we can isolate just the left or just the right hand side. That's easily done, as you've probably already guessed, by removing either next or previous from our code here. So I'm gonna remove the part that says SQS gallery controls next from both parts here. There we go. Now the only one that's changed is the previous arrow or the left arrow. And if I change that word previous to next, the only thing that's going to change is the right arrow or the next arrow. Pretty awesome, right? All right, now as soon as you've decided what type of colors you're going with and how you're changing the previous and next, the most important part, my friend, select save when you're done and that code will be applied to your website. That's it for this tutorial, a nice quick one for today. And the codes I just used are again, they're in the description beneath this video there, so you can grab those and apply them to your own site. Of course, changing up the words red and blue to whatever color code you'd like to see. So thanks again for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.